Hello everyone. I'm Kapila here, your English teacher, and today we'll take up the chapter A Tale of Two Birds. I don't have the book, so I have downloaded it in my mobile. Similarly, you can also download it from the link given in the description. Now, this chapter here is about two baby birds who got separated because of a storm and landed at two different places. They lived with two different kind of uh, people and that is the reason why there was change in their behavior. Let us begin with the chapter. There once lived a bird and her two newborn babies in a forest. They had a nest in a tall shady tree and there the mother bird took care of her little young ones day and night. One day there was a big storm. There was thunder, lightning and rain. And the wind blew down many trees. The tall tree in which the birds lived also came down. A big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird. Fortunately for the baby birds, the strong wind blew them away to the other side of the forest. One of them came down near a cave where a gang of robbers lived. The other landed outside a rishi's ashram a little distance away. So, the mother bird died because a branch fell on it and the two baby birds, they got separated. One landed in front of a cave that was there uh, you know, where the robbers lived and the other one landed there in a rishi's ashram, right? Days passed and the baby birds became big birds. One day the king of the country came to the forest to hunt. He saw a deer and rode after it. It ran deep into the forest, followed by the king. Soon the king lost his way and didn't know where he was. So time passed and the baby birds, they grew up, they became big birds. And it so happened that the king of that land also came there in the forest for hunting and following a deer. He was following a deer who got lost in the forest. He also got lost in the forest and did not know where to go and what to do. He rode on for a long time till he came to the other side of the forest. Very tired by now, he got off his horse and sat down under a tree that stood near a cave. Suddenly, he heard a voice cry out, Quick, hurry up! There's someone under the tree. Come and take his jewels and his horse. Hurry or else he'll slip away. The king was amazed. He looked up and saw a big brown bird on the tree under which he was sitting. He also heard faint noises issuing from the cave. He quickly got onto his horse and rode away as fast as he could. So he landed on the other side of the forest and because he was very tired, he sat down and suddenly he heard somebody saying that hurry up and take away the jewels and the horse. And he wondered who it was. And he also heard some sounds coming from the cave inside. So he hurriedly sat on the horse and he rode off because he had heard such things. He knew that he would be robbed of. Soon he came to a clearing which looked like an ashram. It was the Rishi's ashram. The king tied his horse to a tree and sat down in its shade. Suddenly he heard a gentle voice announce, Welcome to the ashram. Sir, please go inside and rest. The Rishi will be back soon. There's some cold water in the pot. Please make yourself comfortable. The king looked up and saw a big brown bird in the tree. He was amazed. This one looks like the other bird outside the cave, he said to himself loudly. So there also he had seen that big uh, brown bird and here also again he saw the big brown bird and this time the bird welcomed him and also offered him to sit by the time the Rishi would come. You are right sir, answered the bird. He is my brother but he has made friends with robbers. He now talks as they do. He doesn't talk to me anymore. Just then the Rishi entered the ashram. So the baby bird had grown big and this bird who was there at the Rishi's ashram told the king that it was his brother only and they both had stopped talking to each other because the brother who was there with the robbers did not talk to him anymore and because of the company of the robbers he had become so and that moment only the Rishi entered. Welcome, sir, he said to the king. Please come inside and make yourself at home. You look tired. Rest for a while. 
then you can share my food so the rishi asked him to rest and he also offered his food the king told the rishi the story of the two birds and how each had behaved so differently though they looked so alike the forest is full of surprises he said so he told the story to the rishi that both the birds were so alike and still they behaved so differently and to that the rishi replied that the forest was full of surprises the holy man smiled and said after all one is known by the company one keeps so the company that you keep you are known by that the people whom with you are living that is the company okay so you have to be very wise while you are choosing your company because you are known by it that bird has always heard the talk of robbers he imitates them and talks about robbing people this one has repeated what he has always heard he welcomes people to the ashram now come inside and rest i'll tell you more about this place and these birds so the king told what the reason was it was because of the company because of the people with whom the birds lived that they had behaved differently then he asked the king to come inside and also said that he would be telling some more stories to the king now let us do the question answers question 1 how did the two baby birds get separated the two baby birds got separated because of a fierce storm in which the tree fell down on which their home was question 2 where did each of them find a home the first bird found a home there in front of a cave where the gang of robbers lived and the other bird landed in a rishi's ashram question 3 What did the first bird say to the stranger? The first bird told the stranger uh, that somebody needed to hurry up and come and take the jewels and the horse otherwise he would run away. What did the second bird say to him? The second bird welcomed him and offered him water and shade and asked him to rest by the time that Rishi would return. How did the rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behaved the rishi told the king that whatever the birds listened from the people with whom they lived they also imitated the same and behaved in the same manner like the first bird lived with the robbers so whatever he heard there and whatever he saw them doing he imitated the same similarly whatever the second bird saw the rishi doing there in the ashram he also did the same and he behaved in the same manner now the sixth question which one of the following sums up the story best of course as you read you come to know that the second one is the best choice one is known by the company one keeps that's all for now see you in the next video